In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the phrase grid editing feature to improve the auto scripting results in SoundSwitch edit mode. When you auto script a track in SoundSwitch, it analyzes the beat grid and the energy within the track to automatically break it down into its basic song structure, including intros and outros, middle and bridge sections, as well as main one and main two sections. Main one and main two sections represent verse and chorus, but depending on the way the track has been produced, these are interchangeable. Once SoundSwitch has automatically detected all of these different phrases, it will apply lighting effects specific to each phrase. For example, you'll get different lighting effects on an intro than you will on an outro. The phrase grid editing feature allows you to go through and recategorize these different sections or adjust them. You can then re auto script and you'll get a different result, hopefully one that's better and tailored to your liking. The first thing that we want to do is jump over into sound switch edit mode, and then we want to load a track from our music collection. Here I'm going to grab a track, double click, and here we can see that the waveform has been displayed at the bottom of the screen, and we have an undefined section here in the phrase grid above the beat grid ruler. The next thing we need to do is run the auto scripting feature, which will automatically generate a light show and will display all of our phrase grid sections. Here we can see that SoundSwitch has detected an intro, an outro, a bridge, and main one sections. To create a bit more variety in the track, let's go through and edit this phrase grid to improve the lighting output generated by the auto scripting feature. Now that we've got our track analyzed, we just want to unlock the phrase grid so that we can start to edit it. Now what we'll go through and do is I'll just select every second main one section and change those to be main two sections. I can also split or merge two sections, again, by selecting and then right-clicking. I can rename the section to provide a better indication of what's going on in the music during that section. And then I can also go through and select all of these main one sections, right-click and select Disable Scripting. This will allow me to refresh the auto scripting results without changing those main one sections. So if I refresh the auto scripting by selecting this refresh button here on the right hand side, only the main two, outro, bridge and intro sections will change, while all of our main one sections will remain the same. This is helpful if you then want to go through and re-auto script with a different preset. And now those lighting effects will only be applied to the non-disabled sections. This is a really good way to protect the parts of the track that you do like and to easily auto script the parts of the tracks that you would like to change or improve. If you would like to resize sections, simply mouse over the intersection between two phrases and you can drag these left and right to resize. You can also adjust the snapping. By default, it's set to bars, but you could set it to beats or you can turn it off, which allows you to freely adjust the size of the phrases without it being quantized to the beat grid. You can also enable and disable all, as well as invert the enable scripting. So here we can now go through and auto script with a different preset, just our main one sections. This is a really good way to mix and match the different presets that come with SoundSwitch to create a light show that you are really happy with. Once you've done with your phrase grid editing, you can simply lock the phrase grid, save the light show, now you're ready to load that track into your DJ software and get your custom light show played back in time with your DJ performance. If you need help with the phrase grid editing or the auto scripting feature, please reach out to support at soundswitch.com, leave a message in the comments below, or join the user group on Facebook. Thanks and we'll see you in another video.